me introduce uh, speaker Jane Malucci, or MC Jane Malucci. Jane is a writer and she is a speaker, a trainer. Um, she's the reactive voice. She delivers words that make sense. Her experience includes business to business, sales road warrior, corporate trainer, and broadcaster. Her vocal career was aided by her mother's hearing loss. Being the youngest of six, Jane had to speak clearly and loudly so that her mom could understand her. That led to reading aloud in class and eventually becoming a, an Air Force broadcaster with the American Forces Network in Germany. Her voice has been used as a tool to inform, sell, and entertain, and sometimes all three. She's also a member of the Burnett's Hot Squad, and she is a special advisor for all kinds of things for me. And I truly appreciate all her support over the years. Please welcome Jane. So, Jeremy's talking about your website. Well, on your website, you're going to have pictures, but you're also going to have words. And communication, verbal, written, is words. And that's my job, is all about words. So, I've been a professional writer since, I'm going to say last century. Um, and the thing to do is that you want to have copy that will catch, captivate, and close on your reader. Three things. And everybody's panicked now because you're thinking, oh my gosh, I have to write something, and there's a blank piece of paper staring me in the face. Okay, you're going to start with your who, what, when, where, why, and how. That's your basic stuff. But now I'm going to have you think about them in a different way as well. The who I want you to think about is who is your audience? Who are you talking to? The what is, what do you want to tell them? The why is, why do they need to know this? This helps you form your message. Where is where are you publishing what you're writing? Is it going on Facebook? Is it going to New Bern now? Are you putting it in a Twitter feed? It makes a difference on how you're going to sculpt your message. When? Does it need to be done right this minute because you need to, to respond tomorrow? Or is this part of a longer term project where there's going to be dribs and drabs and this information is going to be put into a lot of different places? And then finally, how? How do you want them to react to what you've written? Do you want them to call you? Do you want them to send you an email? Are they registering for something? Are they supposed to take action in some way? All right, now let's get back to the catch, captivate, and close. So your catch is a headline, something that makes people want to read what you've just written. The captivate is the important issues that are coming into your story, the benefits of what you're presenting. And then your close is, let's do something. For instance, if we were walking down the street and Bebop's has a sandwich board sign out, and it says, hot tomato soup, special today. You're thinking, ooh, OK, you got my attention. Tomato soup, today, kind of dreary day, perfect for it. You need a little bit more, though, to get really convinced. Now you want to be captivated. You want them to tell you that it's, it's Hot, homemade soup. It's vitamin packed. There's two. And the third one is it's delicious. You've got all three things in there now. That's all you needed. Three things to get them excited. And finally, make a move. Well, come in and get it. That's it. That's as simple as it is. I bet you've heard this formula everywhere. Because anytime you've listened to any ad on radio or television, even on ad you read in print, you're looking at three benefits. You're looking at a headline that captured you, and you're looking at something that tells you to move forward on it. For instance, if I was going to write something for the Social Media Summit, my catch would be, fourth annual Social Media Summit today at BFW. OK, that tells me pretty much everything I need to know right off the bat. Now we're going to get excited. Captivate. A lineup of 15 speakers will share their expertise on how to use social media to boost your business. This full day seminar will include breakout sessions with the panelists for deeper discussion on each topic. Plus, we're on to our third one, lunch will be provided and will be discussion and will be drawings for social media products and services. Okay, we've captivated them and now close. 
Just a few tickets are available at the door. Email Wendy Card to attend. You're all too late, you're already here. Never mind. <laughs> but this is very brief and very bare bones. And you can elaborate on each of these points, each of these benefits, a little further if you needed more words, if you were writing a longer article. But the formula works no matter what. As a matter of fact, if you wanted to reduce it and put it on Twitter, I would send out attending fourth annual New Bern Social Media Summer today. Fifteen experts detail how to use social media to boost your business. Breakout sessions with the panelists, plus lunch and drawings for products and services. Hashtag Social Media Summit. That's not the one that Wendy and I discussed, but it's the one we're going to use. That's only 230 characters with the spaces, so that covers it. And you've got your whole story in there. So remember, we're going to start with who are you writing to, where is it going, what do you want to tell them, why is it important, when is it being published, and how do you want them to respond. And then catch their attention with the headline, captivate them with enticing details, and close with that call to action. There are handouts on that back table by the flag so that if you need the formula in print, I did a few of them. Leave me your business card if you can't get one of the paper ones, and I will email it to you so that you'll have it for a reference. Thanks so much.